Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. You are allowed uh, to laugh because it's very silly. <clears throat> in the Anansi tales, Gum Baby was a doll Anansi used to trap an African fairy while he was on a quest. But in the story, the doll remained silent and wore leaves for clothes. This one, on the other hand, had on a black turtleneck and black pants, and her tiny feet were bare. And what were those stains she was tracking across the floor? Hey! Gum Baby's talking to you, big boy! <laughs> the doll marched across the floor, the serious expression on her face ruined by the popping sound each of her footsteps made. Don't make Gum Baby climb up there! Plop, plop, plop. Is Gum Baby talking to a brick wall? Plop, plop, plop. Oh, you're asking for it now! Plop, plop, plop. She was up the side of the bed and leaving dark stains on the blankets by the time I finally shook myself out of the daze and extended my flashlight like a weapon. Who? Who are you? I whispered. The ten-inch doll glared at me, climbed atop my foot, and struck a pose. Both arms spread wide, one foot planted on my big toe. She laughed in her tiny voice. <laughs> yeah, I could do that in the mic. <laughs> 